Warhammer, Space Marines, Cultus, Sprue, Chaos, War Games Atlantic, Mini Wargaming, The Damned. I'm a big kid. That's just what it's gonna be. I don't try to fight it. Space Marines on the tabletop. That's why I just like miniature wargaming. Such is the case with War Games Atlantic. They approached us and they said, how would you like to collaborate on a project? What's that project? It's the damned. You might be asking, Dave, why would you get involved in that? You're already doing Ravage Star. It hasn't even fulfilled yet. What are you doing? Excellent question. Well, first off, it's a different product. It's not the same. Ravage Star is PVC plastic. The damned, plastic injection. They're on sprue. You clip them off, you glue them together. It's a completely different product. It's also made in a completely different location. It's not made at the E-Star factory like Ravage Star. It's made at the War Games Atlantic factory in Florida. So, okay, different product, different location, different company. It's not Lazy Squire Games. It is War Games Atlantic. Completely different project. Now do we have your attention, Dave? Would you like to participate in this awesomeness? Now I'm listening, what is this? I like these minis automatically. I'm biased. I don't even care what they're about. When I hear the damn, and I hear chaos, and I hear cultists, and I hear all this stuff, of course I'm gonna wanna know what it's all about. So I take a look at it. Alex from 52 Miniatures happens to be here at the same time. And so we dive into this together. We start painting them up. My son Ryan, see how much fun it is. He's gonna dive into because he can't help himself. He's a born war gamer. He looks at the pile of sprues and he just is going to glue bits together and make it into exactly what he wants it to be. Flamethrower, we got that, flamethrower. Okay, so flamethrower wins the next one. Oh, here's another one. It's almost like a shotgun. It was kind of the same as the old one. Right? This is complete biased opinion. Don't listen to me when I'm saying things. The damned are the absolute best minis on the planet because they are infused with chaos. But don't listen to me, see for yourself. There's a link in the description to the campaign. We're not launched yet. We're gonna be launching soon, and that's when they'll become available and right from War Games Atlantic. Uh, you can follow the campaign. If you do, then you'll get a free sprue with your pledge when you pledge after we launch. If that made no sense, it doesn't matter. Just click on the link and follow the campaign. You'll be notified when we go live. That's all you need to know. Very simple. Ryan painted up this brute to a Super Mario color color scheme. I, I need to take a page out of the Ryan playbook for choosing an inspired color scheme. Hi, Alex. This was kind of close. A little bit. Yeah. You sound painted a very nice mini. Agreed. Thank you. Yeah. Mario. M Mario. <laughs> and this is unlike anything we've ever done before in the past. Uh, this is something that I think we could get used to because we have desires and goals to want to be a publisher of games and of miniatures. So we made the first step by doing that with Lazy Squire Games and Ravage Star. Matt's working on Dark Potential in the background. Did I let that slip out of the bag? I, I, I might have. I don't know if he said it publicly, but I'm just saying it right now because it's something that's happening in the background. And now there's this. There's War Games Atlantic and Mini Wargaming, and we've combined forces, and we're doing this project together. And if this one is met with support from you, the community, then we're going to probably do more. Go to the campaign page, see the details. It just, really, I should have just said that from the beginning. Click on the link to go to the campaign page on GameFound. Then you can follow it and see everything on the page that's gonna be available when we launch.